Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of the Soup Breakdown. Today we're going to be looking at the GNW-001 Gundam Throne Eins, audited by Johan Trinity. The Eins is pretty fun. It has a really nice, really nice Gorobi here uh, that can be moved a little bit when you activate the special mode that we'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, the direct is not as as fully direct as some of the other Gorobis, but it's pretty nice. It also has this this quick pot shot 110 damage, which is really good. Uh, it moves completely straight, so there's no art correction at all. But that also means that you can hit in green lock if you're if you're pretty careful with it. Striker also uses the Gorobi. Can be very helpful. And then of course you have your basic beam shot. Uh, that does pretty decent damage. The charge on it is pretty fun as well because it basically gives you uh, a spread there, three shots that you can then immediately like fire that, boost over, and then hit them with one of those as they dodge that. You know, There's a lot of options. But on to the specialty mode that it has. It can summon the Dry as a or the Zvi as a backup. And while the Zvi is active, it has more ammo on all its G and Beam weapons. Uh, except for the basic rifle. So, for instance, you get two Gorobis instead of one, and the Gorobi can be moved. Whereas the Gorobi cannot be moved in standard. Uh, it also does not take that long for the Zvi to charge back up again as a support unit. So, it's it's pretty pretty active. It's, it's almost always there. He's already back up. Coming him in. We have three of these shots now. And then once he's back up, Gorobi. Oh, stun. Gorobi can be arced as you see does quite a bit of damage and then we will go ahead and burst which brings in both of them and allows you to arc the Gorobi even more pretty nice on the melee combos we have the basic charge forward we have the left right it's pretty good uh, we have the just standard melee combo which is pretty nice and then I'll show you the last melee combo in this second match that we do. The question then becomes, of course, as always, should you use the Eins? I actually think the Eins is one of my favorite mid-range units in this entire game uh, because it has pretty good short-range options and has pretty good long-range options, but its mid-game is almost uncontested. It's, it's amazing. The ability to double your Gorobi count on a whim, and that's all that really does is double Gorobi and linear rifle, but the ability to do it from go, basically, is amazing. It takes a little bit to charge up, but I'm counting the seconds down here. We're at 10 seconds now, and it's over half charge. We are at 15 second charge time, basically. Like, that's crazy good. And the, the move is pretty, it's pretty substantial. You get quite a bit of movement out of it. If somebody is not attacking you back, you can really capitalize on that. However, the real bread and butter that I say makes it the best mid-range uncontested is this. Back melee is a stun. A guaranteed stun if it hits, and you can do it forever. There's no ammo tied to it. The Eins has a dedicated stun button that allows you to just throw out stuns as much as you want. So if you are someone that enjoys mid-range, if you are someone that enjoys... Uh, long range, if you are someone that enjoys short range, the Eins is honestly a pretty good bet for you, and at only a 300 cost, you can do a lot of fun things with it that you wouldn't be able to do with some of the other suits without really having to worry about your cost. Like, it has the utility of a 200 with a 300's damage, while having the options and, like, range abilities of, like, a 500 without the cost. The Eins is amazing. Add that to the fact that if you have the Zvi out and you have your G and Mega Launcher, your Garobi going uh, with your Striker, you could technically have four Garobis going out in rapid succession. You get two of those back every time you burst or respawn. Like, this thing is really good. It's a really powerful suit. The Eins should not be slept on for sure. Uh, but with all that said, I have been Trey. This has been the Full Spectrum. And remember to always enjoy the Full Spectrum that the Throne Eins has to offer.